Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Product Page Templates in Replo. The purpose of this video is quite simple. We're going to explain what product page templates are, how you can build product page templates in Replo for the very first time, and how they're different from the other landing pages you've already been able to build within Replo. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna explain to you what a product page even is, just by showing you an example. So let's go to a Shopify site like Allbirds, um, and let's click into one of their products. So these are the men's tree runner shoes. You can see the product page is the main page that all e-commerce sites built on Shopify take you to, to let you buy a product, add things to cart, maybe there's some additional information, some additional content, so on and so forth. And if you look at the URL, you can see, wow, it's a slash product URL. So that's specifically unique to a product page within Shopify. It's got that slash products URL. Now, up to this point, you've only been able to build landing pages in Replo that live on a slash pages URL. You've not been able to take over your slash products URL. So that's what that's the main, you know, one major difference. And you might be wondering, well, why does it even matter? Like, can't you just link to different things? And absolutely you can. But the reason why this is important is Every single product or, or many of the products in the Allbirds catalog here, or really any Shopify catalog, is going to inherit all of the specific elements of this template. So where this headline is, where the price is, where this free shipping badge is, the size selector, the variant selectors, the add to carts, all the other content here, that's all a template and the product catalog information. So where you go in into back end of Shopify to update your pricing, your descriptions, etc., all of that, just looks at the product template and then puts all of that information on the page based on where the template tells it to. It's a little different than a landing page where you manually set where everything goes. So Replo with our new product template feature finally gives you the ability to build these product templates. And now you can say, no matter what products you have in your catalog, you can give them the exact template that's incredibly customized, has the full power of the Replo platform. You have the ability to use all of our templates on a slash products URL for your specific products. Now again, what, what, is, what is the other significance of this? If you are doing a lot of tagging of products on social media, so for example, you're tagging your products in every single Instagram post, by default, the meta integration with Shopify is going to pull the URL of your slash products um, of, your, of, your, of your products slash product template page. Um, and so it, if it's a boring, if your template has a really boring product template, then the page that you're sending people to after they've clicked on your awesome Instagram post, um, their tag where, you, where they go is gonna be kind of boring. So this gives you the ability to build beyond the limits of your theme, completely customize exactly what you want your product pages to look like. Um, and make sure that no matter how people get there, uh, it is exactly the highest converting, most beautiful, most engaging shopping experience that you want them to have. So that's a little bit of context on what product pages are and, and, and how they kind of, um, kind of fit into the entire Shopify ecosystem. Let's go into this specific thing and let me show you what makes these so special. The main thing is if you go into the config, um, of the product page template, you're gonna see that the product selected is the template product. And basically what this means is you can go in and select a bunch of different products that inherit this product template. And all of these products now um, are going to inherit the information and uh, the layout of this page. So you can flip through and see it changing based on the product that's been selected. Now, this is different than if you were to pull in a regular product bo box in Replo. So if you were to pull in just a regular product box, let's just pull this in here, and then set it, we go into the product container, go into the config, uh, and instead of the product template, we're going to still pull from dynamic value, or we can actually select a product rather. Let's say the bomber jacket, for example. So now if we were to switch the products, Everything that's in the product template is going to update. So all of the different products, whatever the active URL is, whatever the active product is, that's going that content's going to update. But because we are using the um, previous, like the traditional Replo dynamic data value to 
kind of select what this product is. It doesn't change when you change what product we're previewing. So that's the number one difference from a technical basis from our slash products, um, our product page templates and that live on a slash products URL, and then just landing pages in general that live on a slash pages URL. If you want to go into seeing exactly how things are configured, you can see in the settings, you can set your template name, the template path, so the URL path is going to be products slash and then the whatever the product slug is, and then you can select the products that you want um, this template to apply to. One of the beautiful parts of uh, how we've configured the Replo uh, product template feature is you can have multiple product templates. So let's say in our instance, we're selling clothing. We want all of our tops, our hoodies, our shirts, etc., to have one template. And we want our accessories to have a different one, like our yoga mats and our gym bag. And then we want our bottoms, our pants, um, our, our sweatpants, etc., to have um, a third product template. You have the ability to do so. so no matter what your catalog looks like, you have the ability to create templates that are unique to all of the collections and all of the products um, within your catalog. Going into the actual customization, um, you're able to customize your product template the same way that you've been able to build um, Replo pages in the past. So for example, if we need to add a, if the quantity selector didn't exist and we wanted to add it, we can simply go in and pull, pull that in. Now that's actually the dynamic value. So let's actually pull in a quantity selector. There it is. Boom, quantity selector included in um, the template. And now uh, whenever someone adds the product to cart, if we click into the integrations, you can see the selected quantity and their selected variant um, is going to be added to cart. We've even um, modified this second image that I've added below to be the featured image of the template product. We can actually go in and change this so we can do the current product or the selected variant. Let's say you have even more content stored in your meta fields in your catalog. You can even pull um, information from your meta fields as well to use to customize your page even further. Um, going back to that Allbirds example could be maybe you have a couple different types of shoes. One's waterproof, one's not. You can show that. One of the other beautiful parts about the product template feature within Replo is that you have the ability to show and hide specific states. So for example, if you have a product that has um, specific options like uh, color or, or sizing, but not all of the products that you've selected for that template have it, then Replo will automatically detect if it does or does not have it, and it will automatically hide the options that that feature or that product does not have. Um, so, for example, if we we're going to do pant size um, as like a as a as a selector here, um, because this product doesn't have pant size, it's not going to show pant size as as an option for for variants. And that's something that is again very unique to our product templates that you just will not find um, in our standard pages. That being said, if you did want to change one of your existing landing pages to product template page, you have the ability to do so. All you have to do is click in and you can choose the template product. One of the other great things about our product template feature is that you also have the ability to pull in templates. So if we go into um, our template library, you can pull in all of these amazing templates and it's going to automatically pre-fill with the products that you've selected. Now, if you've not selected any products at all, it's just gonna to default to all of your products. Um, just from a preview basis, it will not publish um, to all of your products um, when you hit publish. And then again, the only thing you need to do when you're ready to take one of these product templates live is hit publish product template, just like you would publish any other piece of content that you build in Replo. We truly believe that now having the product template functionality within Replo allows anybody to build the customer experience of their dreams on Shopify without code. You don't need to hire expensive developers. You don't need to hire expensive designers. You can do stuff that was previously only reserved for six figure builds, um, all without code, all using Replo. This is the way Shopify stores and e-commerce stores in general are built in the future and we're so excited to bring that to you today.